Hello, welcome to the video for what is the volume, the blocking volume. Let me go ahead and run our quick little example here. You'll notice I run into this cube. It blocks my actor as well as it blocks my camera, which is on a spring arm. Now, if I go in here and I take my generic box, which is actually a no collision box, I hide it in game and I run this again. You'll notice I get the same results but it is invisible. I am using a blocking volume. By default, blocking volumes, of course, do not render inside your scene. It is in the modes, volumes, blocking volume section. And by default, it is going to be a box for the brush shape. Let me go ahead and hide this so we can see it. Now, of course, since this is a brush, you can use any of the builder options. It could be something like a linear stair. It could be curved stairs. It could be a cone but by default it is a cube and you can adjust the size as needed. How it works is it has an invisible wall for the collision preset. This is basically going to block everything with the exception of the visibility collision response. So basically everything's going to get blocked when it encounters this, your camera and your pawn, as well as any AI controlled things, destructibles, bullets. Usefulness for the blocking volume is if you want to consolidate collision or you want to make things simpler for your game. Let's say, for example, you have a courtyard. Surrounding your courtyard are rocks or walls or other things you're using to make your environment look pretty. Now, these may be not simple. These may be fairly complex. Your rocks may have many edges and facets. Maybe you have some things sticking out like um, stumps and trees and things like that, but it's a it's an area that basically is intended to block you in and you're not going to go outside of it. It's for looks only. Well, you can have complex collision and you could have that surrounding all of your items, but that seems excessive and it's unnecessary. So what you could do is just simply surround your area with blocking volumes. It makes it much simpler and easier and it's computationally less expensive and your player for the most part is not really going to notice it. You're not going to allow them to jump up on top of these things or leave your level. So if you use your blocking volumes, you're basically going to just put up an invisible wall around them. It's also very useful if you want to put it in between things. Maybe you have those rocks and you want to allow them to get on them, but you don't want them to get stuck in between them. So you could throw a blocking volume kind of in between things or maybe around the stairwell if you're going upstairs and places like that. So that way the player doesn't notice they can't get to those areas. It feels natural. Maybe their built-in collision makes it feel natural. However, you know you're blocking them from getting stuck in these areas. So that's what a blocking volume is good for. Remember, it does not have to be a cube. There are much more shapes you can use. And of course, since it's a brush, you can edit the brush itself. If there are any questions, please feel free to leave them below.